Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am talking about a super fun topic and um, we are going to cover the Phrygian mode. Um, so this mode is a lot like any other mode. Um, it's just a variant of the major scale. Um, but what makes this one really interesting is there's lots of different variations you can throw in there <clears throat> and it gives your scale a really cool um, exotic kind of vibe. <laughs> Um, now, a lot of people will say um, that the Phrygian mode and um, some of the scales that are based off of it are um, like an Arabic scale. Um, they call them Hejaz, or uh, I know Rav Vast has an Arabian Nights scale that's based off this Phrygian mode. Um, and it is partially true that the Phrygian dominant scale um, sounds like some Arabic scales, but I think it's important to make the distinction that these are all Western scales built on Western musical tonality. <laughs> um, so these are not authentic scales from the Middle East. Um, just so you're aware of that distinction. <laughs> And I'm just gonna do a quick reminder for those of you who are new to this. Um, if you would like to get different modes or different scales on your drum, the best way to do that is um, to purchase some neodymium magnets. And I will throw the link to that down in the description. Um, and if your drum is magnetic, you probably wanna test that first <laughs> before you buy the magnets, because a lot of them aren't, but a lot of them are. Um, so if your drum is magnetic, then you can tune it by um, sticking the magnets on the tongues inside of your drum. And if you want to get your sound lower, um, you're gonna move the magnets towards the center. And if you want your note to be higher, you're gonna move your magnets away from the center. Now, once the magnets um, are off of the tongue, you can't raise the pitch any higher. So there is a certain limit to um, how much you can change the pitch, but uh, you can do quite a lot with that, <laughs> which is really exciting. <laughs> Um, so we're going to talk about this Phrygian mode. And um, when you're in the key of C, um, you're going to have a flattened second, a flattened third, a flattened sixth, and a flattened seventh. And that's what gives you the Phrygian mode. So basically, when you're in the key of C, um, instead of having a B, you've got a B flat. Instead of an E, you have an E flat. Instead of an A, you have an A flat. And instead of a D, you have a D flat. <laughs> And that makes your Phrygian boat. So, so this is what that sounds like with the full scale. It's nice and pretty. Um, all by itself, just the Phrygian mode, it doesn't have um, a whole lot of that flair that you'd expect, but it does sound really cool. Now, um, we're gonna move into some of the variants of the Phrygian mode, and this is um, <clears throat> where a lot of the hand drum and the tank drum scales that you will see are based off of. So, first I'm gonna show you the Hijaz scale. Um, and I'm gonna show you that on my Cosmoski drum, Cosmos Sky, and we've been having a debate about how to say it. <laughs> We're still not sure. Um, but this is the Phrygian, Phrygian dominant mode. Um, and what that means is basically it's the Phrygian mode, so you've got your Phrygian scale, um, but you raise the third degree of the scale. So number three is up half a step. So instead of having the E flat of the regular Phrygian mode, you have just an E. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play that for you. This is what that hijaz scale sounds like. And as you can see, that is super beautiful. Um, it's almost otherworldly. See, the way that you, um, when you raise that third, it creates a whole step and a half between your second and your third scale degrees, which is where that really cool difference comes in. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and post in the description um, the notes that you can tune your drum to um, in order to get that Phrygian dominant mode. 
I'm also going to show you, um, I did a separate video on this tuning a little bit ago. Um, this is my Idiopan Domina, and um, it's more designed to be a pentatonic kind of a drum, so five notes per scale rather than um, eight or six or seven. Um, so I sort of adjusted that Phrygian dominant hijaz scale to fit on this, um, and you can check out that video on my channel as well, but I'm just going to play that scale for you because I really like it. It's a neat pentatonic scale. Here we go. now adjusted on um, this Cosmos Sky, Sky Drum um, to be another version of this Phrygian mode. Um, and this builds off the Phrygian dominant. So for the Phrygian dominant, we raise the third. Now for this double harmonic, um, we're also going to raise the seventh. So it's like Phrygian mode, but we only have a flattened sixth and a flattened second. So we still have, let's see, we still have our D flat and we still have our A flat, but those are the only flats in the key of C. And I'm gonna play for you what this one sounds like. Um, I know that the Rav Vast um, calls the scales the Arabian Nights. Um, I've seen it by a few other names, but properly, <laughs> it is known as the double harmonic scale. So here we go. Okay, and here is this Onoleo scale. Um, this is a super gorgeous scale. I did it on the Idiopan because it is also a pentatonic. Um, it leaves out the seventh and the second scale degree, um, which means it doesn't have that distinct, um, you'd call it the Arabic flavor to it, um, but it does still have a really interesting vibe. It's sort of cross between the double harmonic and the Phrygian dominant, um, but you can't really tell <laughs> which one it would be because it leaves out the seventh scale degree, which is the only difference between those two scales. So <laughs> here's this really pretty um, pentatonic onoleo scale. If you're looking to use these modes and scales for yourself, um, it is super easy if you have a tunable drum. Um, if you want to do something like the pentatonic hijaz or the onoleo scale, it does work best to start with a drum that has um, a pentatonic layout, um, so you'd be missing some notes from your regular major scale. Um, but if you have one of the mass-produced drums that tends to have all of the scale notes available, um, then you can use this mode just as is. You can use the Phrygian mode by um, lowering those four notes. You can use the Phrygian dominant mode by lowering only three notes. <laughs> um, and you can even do that double harmonic mode. Um, you only have to lower two notes to do that. <laughs> um, so just one more overview. The Phrygian you're gonna lower by one semitone, so you're gonna flatten your seventh, sixth, third, and second scale degrees. If you're doing Phrygian dominant, you're gonna flatten your seven, six, and two numbers. And if you are wanting to do the double harmonic scale, all you're going to flatten is your six and your two. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to go ahead and throw all of that in the description as well as the letter names of the notes for the keys for the key of C major because um, that is the most common on um, these mass produced drums. Um, if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to throw me a comment and I will definitely do my best to respond to you. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you really enjoy this mode and these awesome scales that you can build on it. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, if you want to click the subscribe button right up there, then you can subscribe to my channel and see all my new videos. And if you would like to check out my Patreon, the link is down there in the description. <laughs> thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day.